let's move on to round two in the Essendon District Football League. Now, there's two Good Friday games. It counts as round two games. So there's one less game this weekend in a Premier Division and Division 1. Full slate of games in Strathmore Community Bank Division 2. Let's have a look at what we have. Now, Pascaval v Essendon do the stars. A home game for Paco, but it's not at Rayburn Reserve. It's at Martin Reserve. Rayburn is still not ready Paco coming off a loss against Greenvale. Dude has looked very good against Airport West. Kyle Hardingham coaching against his old mob will have a lot of, obviously, intel on the Panthers' players. What are we thinking here? Should be a pretty good game, Chief. I'm, from memory, last year when um, when Duda Stars, even when they were struggling, Pasco Vale was one of the sides that they matched up pretty well. And when they were getting um, comprehensively defeated, the Stars, uh, they did go to Pasco Vale and Put on a pretty good effort. I think uh, the Panthers will get the win this week, but um, I think it'll be a pretty close game there, especially with uh, a bit of tension between Kyle and uh, coming back against the Panthers. Mm. Kane Hawking. Look, if if I can remember Martin Reserve, it's only just around a corner from their ground and Kyle Reserve. It's it's a very small ground itself. It's weirdly shaped the same as Kyle Reserve. It's on that angle and a, on a bit of parkland there. I think it keeps Essendon do the stars in the game. Um being that smaller ground, and I think Essendon do the Stars will get the win. Yeah, they're all small grounds. Rayburn's not a big ground either. Piggy Bank is going with Pasco Vale to bounce back. Now, Greenvale takes on Maribyrnong Park. Um, does that Keo situation remains ongoing? Obviously, <laughs> didn't play on the weekends. I think he'll be there. I don't know who he'll be barracking for, but um, an interesting contest nonetheless. Get out the old half-and-half half jumper. Is that still... Maybe that'll work for Zach Keogh. He won't be playing. Play one half for Greenvale. He can play one half for Maribyrnong Park. We'll I don't know what's going to happen. But sure, uh, second, sure. game, second home game in a row for the Jets. Surely with clearances, I think it works. You've got three times and it goes to an appeal. So surely it would have been up to the third time by yeah. now. And they can There's go a to appeal. Going on. If, it, if it gets through, it gets through. If it doesn't, you, There's a bit going on behind footy? the scenes, which I won't go with on the air. But uh, we'll continue. He won't play this week, and we know that. Greenvale, Marby, who wins? Uh, Greenvale to go back to back at home. Yeah, I think Greenvale get the win. Um be interesting how long Fort's out for and you know get them them two W's early on for, for Paul Chapman and, and be able to you know look to rest his blokes later in the year that's what he's looking for you'd be expecting Greenvale to win that Avondale Heights takes on at Glen Roy this was a broadcast game at last year on paper it seems pretty even but you'd be expecting Glen Roy to bounce back after a very disappointing round one performance yeah I think as we mentioned last week, Glenroy probably was looking at that kill game as, as a game that they probably should have been more competitive in. So I'm sure they would have been um, a bit of a fire up from Terra um, heading into this weekend's game. And I think um, all things considered, I think Glenroy should get the win. Glenroy should get the win. Um, if they let me down again this week, I probably won't tip him again for the You're year. Off. I'll take him yeah. out of my top four. Can't be let down two weeks in a row. Um, I just think they've got... The, the, the bigger depth um, of the two sides, obviously 21 plays in two years, I think it was. More settled lineup there. Yeah, that's yeah. come from Avondale Heights. Um, even though they are playing at home, I think Glenroy get the chocolates. They they have to get the chocolates in this game. If they think they can improve on where they were last year, these are the games they need to win. Yep. Yeah, and that, when you put it that way, it's a must win for Glenroy. Uh, Piggy Bank saying Glenroy, and by the way, Greenvale, Piggy Bank forgot to give the Greenvale tip. Finally, Airport West take on Aberfeldy. Alphabetically, the top two clubs in EDFL. Um, alphabetically, Aberfeldy would be on top as well, so I'll, I'll tip them Fair as well. Fair call. Yeah, look, Aberfeldy, for mine, the result to Airport West last week, I think it just speaks um, a little bit too much volume when they're coming up against Aberfeldy. I think same goes for the piggy bank there, although Airport West should be aiming for a much smaller margin this yep. time around. Some oh. big improvement and... A Bit of a reality check probably for Airport West as well as to what Premier Division is. So hey, welcome back. We'll see, yep. we'll see what the response is against the best team in the competition. 